everybody. Welcome back to episode 26 of Lands of Legend. As always, Rock here. So we left off la last episode at the, the cusp of this, what looks like an abomination of an area. Uh, not entirely sure what to expect, but I figured we had been going for like an hour, a little over an hour at that point. Like an hour, almost 20 minutes at that point. And, um, this looks like it's going to take a wee bit of time, so I figured, why not cut the episode there? I mean, it was long enough anyways, but why not cut the episode there and uh, save this for an episode in and of itself? Did I auto-jump? No. I had recently just, uh... No, you need to turn off. Uh, recently, we was just testing a different version of, of something, and uh, I had to reset all my controls and all that, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but today we're heading off into the great unknown. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And hoping for the best. So, um, real quickly, because I mentioned it before, um, I want to just quickly show off a newer uh, artwork that I um, that I commissioned for the series. And I haven't had a chance to use it yet. I've, I've had a chance to use it, but I just forgot to do it. Uh, but it is an artwork for just like facepalm type of moments, like accidentally throwing potions or um, kind of like back in the Kaizo Caverns where I like ender pearled myself to death uh, 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 at the end of the map. So... Uh, I'm going to quickly just show it on the screen, uh, probably in the upper right corner, just to give you a reference of what it's going to look like. And, uh, waiting, waiting, waiting. All right. <laughs> so it should give you an idea of what it will look like. Uh, I'm happy with it. it. I think it fits perfectly. It's it's not the same art style as the uh, our icon that we use for death, but I think it's cute. I like it. So that is... Ideally going to be the artwork that we'll display in the top right corner when we make just facepalm mistakes um, or accidents or stuff like that. So outside that, let's get into the nitty gritty of this area. Um, boy, it's got a big old area it, in and of itself, isn't it? There's some glass up there. That looks like something needs to be investigated. I see some various spawners around the sides here. I'm almost thinking that our best bet is going to be kind of uh, doing a lap around the um, exterior here. Uh, oh boy, it looks like it's going down as well. Um, okay, I think we can get close enough without spawning anything. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I hope the wool's not down there. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to have to do, a la I think, a lap around this exterior to try to neutralize these spawners. And then kind of work from there. I don't know if the wool's up there or the wool was down there. That looks pretty solid, so I don't think the wool's there. Uh, there we did see some little offshoots. I think that's an offshoot. There's an offshoot right there. There's probably one down there, uh, which could potentially house the wool. But that's going to require us going downwards. Uh, and I don't know the best way to get out of here yet, other than backtracking all the way through this. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. Um, I think first things first, it's probably in our best interest. Best interest to kind of work our way around the exterior of this area, break all the spawners, deal with the mobs, and then probably work our way up to there. And depending on the outcome of that, work our way down. Uh, that's, that's the best that I... Ooh, boy, that's a lot of skeletons. Oh, that's a lot of skeletons. No, you don't. You hurt me way too much. Get out of here. Okay, there is definitely a... skelly spawner there. Um, there was also some comments um, from a couple of people that didn't know that um, Bane of Arthropods uh, slowed down spiders. 
I don't remember exactly when that update came into place, because I, uh, I read that comment, and I was like, I don't remember when that was added. And I went back and I did some testing in Minecraft 1.0, the, the official release of, of the game, and it didn't appear that they slowed it down, so at some point after the release, uh, it got slowed down. I want to say it was probably closer to, like, the combat update, but I don't know for certain. Uh, I didn't feel like doing enough testing to... Oh, Chaos Tanks. Oh, we will have to... <coughs> we will have to ignore you. Um, I didn't feel like doing enough testing to actually figure out exactly when it... Uh, that feature got it. Uh, it. Oh! Because it was a... Decent update. Ooh. Woo. 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 Oh, we are running in all kinds of bad places. All right, we're making moves. At the very least, we're getting everything spawned because everything looks like it's hot. It's primed. Oh, everything is primed. Everything is primed. Everything is sad. Run, run, rock. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's not the worst to get everything spawned and then just kind of run around and deal with the spawners, because uh, we can kind of move around. Ooh, except for the skeletons. Uh, we can kind of move around a little bit freely. Uh, with the exception of the Chaos Knights there. Huh. 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 To hell with you, Chaos Knights. You are invulnerable. <laughs> okay. Um, we did get a significant number of spawners broken there. Ooh, our inventories. Completely full. Uh, let's see if I can free up a little bit of space. I think it's going to be in our best interest to make at least a chest to store a few things uh, in the inventory that were. Ooh, sharpness 15. That's only attack damage 9, though. We have 20. I'll store it because it has the implications that it could be good. Else we need to store XP is going to be useful to make sure our gear stays repaired. Our food is getting kind of slowly getting kind of low, which is unfortunate, but we'll manage. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. I think we're I think we're nearing the end here. So a lot of mobs over there. Uh, I'm going to let these mobs stay over here. I'm going to try to do a... Uh, ooh, good job, Skelly. Good job! Take him out! Try to take out, uh, or work towards taking out the other side as as well. Uh, and maybe that will give the um, the other side a chance to ooh, despawn. We'll see. The big hope is just to make sure that we don't die, because uh, this totem of undying is doing some heavy lifting for us, and I don't don't really want to lose it. It's going to be a little bit of, like, uh, jumping in, sniping a couple spawners, and getting out. Punching wood. Punch it to collect wood. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, notification. I'm glad you're going to give me this after I've, uh, I've already done this before. It's, uh, it's all because I switched to an earlier version and then switched back to this version that, uh, it's going to give me that. I wish 
I wish I had a log on me. That would make things easier. Well, unfortunately, that notification is going to have to stay up there for now because I don't have any logs on me. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. I have to do some quick legwork to see if we can break as many spawners as we can. Nope, that was a mistake. Okay, we seem to have broken pretty much all the spawners over on this side. Oh, that's a lot of spawners in there. Ooh, okay, uh, I'm just going to slowly work my way up here. We don't probably necessarily... <laughs> oh, I was going to say, we probably don't necessarily need to go up clear both sides, but... Oh, buddy. Myself happy. Boy, I don't hope we don't have to go too terribly high up. Okay, let's get into a spot that the these little guys can't hit me because apparently, as far as I can tell, they're immune to damage, which is unfortunate. Uh, okay, golden apples. We got forty-four. Food, we're at closing in on a stack and a half, which is worrisome. Uh, I would say if we had found a teleporter back towards um, the intersection, this wouldn't be as bad of, a, or potentially as bad of a problem, but given that uh, we're kind of reliant on our food, because apparently, uh, at least from what the... Uh, uh, messaging must tell us is that there's no way back until the end of this area. I think that was more or less it. So we're gonna have to do our best. Hooray! <laughs> um, can I knock you? Knocking them out into oblivion. Uh, it's be the easiest. <laughs> okay. Let's see a few more spawners up here. They're gonna insta spawn. Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a kind of a, almost a little bit of shame that Smith doesn't do something with the vein of arthropods where it will, uh, it will slow undead. Uh, shit. Oh, no, you don't. You can hug her straight off. <laughs> straight off into the void. Okay. Uh, we should be able to get up here real quick. Spawners. Hope for the best. <gasps> is that what I think it is? <gasps> is that what I think it is? <laughs> it's exactly like I said it was going to be. It's going to be one wall. <laughs> okay. We can't. We can't touch it. We can't touch this wool yet. We have to find out how to get out of here. We have to secure the way out of here. And then we can take the wool. Because any other option means we have a seriously strong uh, chance of losing that wool. 
we do have a means of getting back over out and around because the most power is it. I think these cops fell out of here. Okay. Oh, there's a chest. Which is nice. Oh. Oh, look at the box. Blocks of diamond. Hooray. <laughs> Have to drop them out of a chest or something because uh they are gonna do absolutely nothing for me our gear is too good for the dime the, the base the basic diamonds to be uh any useful get out of here out out so it does look like we're probably gonna have to go downwards which uh, i'm not happy with that but at least we have uh, this side of the area is secure, so we don't have to go on that side and deal with the wrath of a whole bunch of mobs. Which is a plus, to say the least. So let's go ahead. Do this. I think we're going to have to set up a chest real quick. Another one. Uh, we do have that one out there that we could run over to, but I think it's going to be in our best interest just to make a new chest, just to clean up a little bit of the inventory. Okay, we do want some XP. Probably don't need that much XP. We could probably suffice with uh, two stacks of XP. Mm, all right. All right, looks like we're heading downwards. Well, this is probably where shit is going to go bad. <laughs> and the pathway is extremely narrow. I'm gonna have to waste a bunch of blocks just to make sure I don't throw myself into the void. Ooh. Cause that would be a shitty way to die. Well. Glad you, uh... I don't know where you spawned, right there? Is that where you spawned from? Ooh. Glad. Glad. That, uh, creeper blast power, or not creeper blast power, but the, uh, gas blast power is not, like, supercharged and would have just messed our day up. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're getting there. Just got to tighten up things a little bit as we go. Make things a little, more, a little more secure. Okay. This is probably where all those building blocks are. All those building blocks are going to come in handy. Just uh, making sure this pathway is secure. Okay, we've got a spawner coming up here. I uh, can't quite see what it is. Kind of looks like spiders, though. Spiders, I'm not too terribly worried. Uh, I guess mostly because they've also thrown themselves off to death. <laughs> Good job, spiders. MVP. <laughs> Just doing all the hard work. Oh, hello. Glad they spawned on that side. Um, open escape portal. One of... Is that one of... Uh, one of three. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ain't this gonna be a treat. Well, I'll have to figure out how to get in and out of there without uh, dealing with this chaos n n tank, because they are a nightmare. I won't. Oh, I can't. Damn it! Alright. Well, I see what those other uh, doors are for. Apparently they are for... 
activating the portal. Oh, that's gonna be a treat. Thank God we have so many building blocks, but I tell you, this is gonna be either easy or an absolute shit show. <laughs> oh, I don't think there's an in-between. I don't, I don't honestly think there's an in-between. Easy or a shit show. Okay, what is the spawner here? Gas spawner. We can deal with that pretty easy. Pretty easy. Just need to get over here. Quick. Still haven't figured out the way out. And I'm expecting that maybe towards that bottom of this area, we'll find the wool. We'll find a way out. Oh, no. We already found the wool. Um, we'll find a way out. And then it's just going to be because we've secured it that we can just kind of nonchalantly just carry the wool down, down, and out. So we still have two activation triggers to do, which is the next one. Looks like it's going to be right here. Is that a... Oh, that might be a skeleton. I don't know what that last heart down there is, but... Oh, well. Thank you, mobs. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly... Oh, you spawned over this side. Thank God. Because I would absolutely hate it if you spawned on the right side. Oh, God! Spawned on the absolute right side. Oh, boy. Spawned on the right side of stuff. We're getting there. I'm going to heal up and do like we did prior. Um, just knock them into a corner, have a stepping stone out, and then just a uh, kind of a uh, go from there. Nope, I need to get you. Three activated. Okay. I don't like that sound of the skeletons of the wall that I've just heard. I'm hoping it's like a honeypot or something like that. Okay, that looks like three of three. Oh, what? I don't. Oh, there's a couple portals down there, or not? Not a couple portals. A couple of rooms down there that I don't really like the looks of. Um, we're trying to activate a portal, so I'm guessing probably most likely that last room right there is going to be where the portal is. So we're going to have to clear all the way down to there, run all the way back up to the top, grab the wool, run all the way back down here, and hope for the best. Yeah, it's going to be something. <laughs> Get wrecked. I think those are chaos tanks. Um, I need to get over here real quick. Take out that spawner. Okay. Uh huh. So, best guess is that should lead over to the third activation. And then the last one is, oh, there's another one before it, though. I don't know. In theory, this one should lead to the third activation of the teleport. Maybe the other last one over there we see that's prior to the last one is for activating the teleporter. Uh, that's my best guess. Okay, we need to 
move. We need to move. Post haste. Okay. And all this time I'm still still not been using my, my torches. <laughs> this is the problem with night fishing. The problem with night fishing. You're not smart enough to work on that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I'm just gonna block this just in case you decide to randomly jump and uh, decide to ruin my day. Gear is looking solid. Food is looking decent. Okay. I think we're in a good place. This would be the point where I accidentally throw up my uh, my sword or something straight into the void, <laughs> and I I weep weep manly tears and a lot of other tears, but I try to put on a facade. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing the next little. It's not there. I'm guessing the next little offshoot. Oh, no, there is not another offshoot. Okay, that looks like that's a teleporter then. Um, maybe a um, activation button or something like that. Best guess. What kind of spawner are you? Oh, you look like the skelly kind. And I don't want you at all. At all? At all. <laughs> our way down here. It's been fairly safe so far. Haven't run into too many problems. And now that I say that, I probably jinxed myself, but so far. So good. Um, that one looks like another gas spawner. Get some, kid. Okay, so we got two more little subsections to get to, and it doesn't look like there's anything necessarily in there at the moment, which is good news, because uh, the last thing I want is to be really bridging over the void <laughs> with potential skeletons and all on gas and all that. Uh, I guess that the fact that we have full knockback resistance probably helps huge amount in this right now, because uh, those skeletons would have definitely messed up our day. Ow. Oh. Well, good job. I guess we'll just, you know, wander over and break your spawner real quick. Thank goodness the mobs are... The mobs are greedy. <laughs> All they want is blood. And they didn't think of the co of, of the cost. I want blood, but at what cost? My life. Into the void. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Worked out pretty good. Uh, let's quickly get down here to snuff that spawner out real quick. that off for a quick hot second. Okay. It's not a chaos night, so I'm not... Or a chaos. It's a chaos night. Not one of those mobs that deals... Uh, can't be killed. So, hooray. A little void, but I'm seeing a lot of void down here. Hurrah! Fast off! Oh, look at that! That is probably the, <laughs> the teleporter out of here. <laughs> Aren't we just gifted? 
with getting absolutely wrecked here in a second. Um, uh, I can't be knocked back. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Oh, is there another spawner up there that I didn't see? Okay, health. Not happening. Let's try to get a little bit of regeneration going. It looks like we're going to have to work our way across these little bridges to where the teleporter is. So, if we can secure this... I think we can escape this place relatively safely. Uh, unless they spawn more spawners elsewhere. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. But Okay. So as long as I don't run off the edge here. Like that skeleton did. Oh, this, is, oh, this is worrisome. Come on. There you go. Good job. As long as I don't run off the edge, we'll run into... We'll run into too many terrible things. Or if I can keep doing that, then... <laughs> I'm going to be in business. Full knockback resistance. I tell you, OP as oh shit. Um, that looks to appear to be our teleporter out of this place. Have we done it? Have we successfully beat the map. Have we done it? I'm gonna block off all of these just as a precaution. <laughs> but I think, I think that's it. I think, I think, I think we did it. I think we did it! <laughs> um, oh, I heard him out there for a second. I'm just going to straight up, and as long as my pinky finger doesn't fail me, I'm going to straight up just bridge across here, because we've already conquered this area. And... Make it that much easier for us to run to victory here. Because with that... We've done it. I think we've done it. Again, as long as shit doesn't go down here. I think we've done it. I think we've done it! <laughs> I think that happens. But I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Oh, my life. I'm crouching because I don't want anything to pop up and punch me to my death or something like that. I don't know. It would be my luck. Okay. Try to make this as safe as possible. Okay. Part of, pri trying to prevent every possible outcome of death that is potentially inevitable. Am I being a little too paranoid? Pa par paranoid? Paranoid? Yes, I am absolutely being too paranoid. But I've died in many, many of face palm situations. And given that we only have one wall, I want to double, doubly make sure that we're good. Probably don't need to really go this in depth, so let's uh let's ignore that. This looks pretty pretty secure, so uh maybe right here I'll go. A little secure. <laughs> Alright. So we know where the exit is. 
we know where the last wool is. Oh boy. Now the question is what what is gonna be what is gonna befall us when we exit the portal? Because what I could see, ooh, other than almost accidentally killing myself multiple times, um, is once we entered this dimension, uh, we got our home point set to a different location, and maybe that location is a boss fight or something. I, I could fathom it. It would be a dickish, but I could fathom it. <laughs> too careful. Okay. This is just stressful trying to get back up here. Boy. We made a long run to get down here. Jeez. A little longer than I recall. I thought this area went pretty quick. sketchy, but... Okay. Let's go this way, because it's our safe way. Oh, I... I think we've done it. I think we've done it! Ladies and gents! We have successfully completed the map. I mean, it's not successfully completed until we actually get the wool onto the monument, but... I don't know of any hostile... Uh, hostile mobs and stuff like that um, on the way between here and there. As long as we don't go that way, but dear lord, I think I think we've done it. <laughs> Black wool. Assuming there's no fuckery that uh befalls us because the map maker did some trickery with uh setting spawners and spawning mobs and whatnot. Uh, if you have the black wall on you, I can see it happen. I'm not above it. <laughs> and if I'm not above it, I'm sure there are plenty of other map makers who are not above it. the other way I was supposed to go. Well, I've decided to increase the difficulty of this. <laughs> Just deciding to make the... Oh, yeah, I definitely went, definitely went the wrong way. Um, we're going this way. I'm not going to deal with those mobs. Though I probably could drop down Right down here. Ooh. Like that. And I probably could continue realistically doing that. Oh, can I survive that fall? I think I can. Oh, yeah, that barely hurt. She's like the best of them. There we go. There we go. Huh. Oh. oh. Look where we are. We're home. We're home. I am the champion. Um. We need to go to... Teleporter. It's a monument teleporter. I can 
run to victory. Yay! <laughs> and before I do that... Oh, it's going to disappear. Okay, that's cool. Yes! We've done it! <laughs> A mysterious door is opened in the Twin Mountains above Palace Radiant. Oh, do I want to investigate into that? Hmm. Let me do this. I'm going to do a call off. Oh. Hello? Can I get rid of you message for once? There we go. Um, I'm going to do a send off. And I might go exploring into what this is. And if it, I find something that I'm interested in recording, I'll, there might be a cut back into this episode. So with that, we have successfully completed Lands of Legend. Lands of Legend. Chaos Craft, Lands of Legend. There we go. So thanks for joining, as always, everybody. We will be starting up a new series here really soon. And um, kind of going from there. So thanks for always... Uh, thanks, blah, blah, thanks for joining, as always, everyone. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye!